Hey guys, what's up? Shin0525 here. Back with another drawing video. It's uh, Sunday, so we're back doing another video. And uh, today's video, we're going to be drawing Lego Mario from that Lego brand of toys that uh, Nintendo came out with. So yeah, we're going to be drawing Lego Mario here. Very boxy, very boxy dude. Uh, but anyway, this video was requested by Edward. I'm not going to pronounce your name right, your last name right. So it's uh, P-O-E-N-A-R-I-U. Um, thank you so much for the request, and, um, yeah. So without further ado, let's get our pencils ready, and, uh, let's draw Lego Mario. Oh, and by the way, I am a little sick. I just got over a sinus infection, so sorry for my voice this video. It's probably really bad. So, uh, yeah. Okay, that's it. Let's jump in. Alright, guys. So to start off drawing Lego Mario here, what we're going to do is we're going to start off with a very light uh, box. And it's going to look something like this. And then we're going to make it a cube by extending the corners out here like this. And then drawing a line going up. And then over. Like that. So we got a nice little cube. And now we're going to do the exact same thing, just we are going to make basically a longer rectangle. Like this. And then extend it out about the same as here. And again, keep this light. This is just a gesture, so don't have to be super uh, exact with it. And actually, this is going to go out a little bit further. Then, uh, then this, so the line will be about down here. And then again, this is why we draw real light about here. Maybe, maybe make it a little bit shorter. Yeah, that, that's good. Right there. Because you want the body to be out a little bit more than the head. Just a little though. So I'm going to raise some of the overlap here. So you should have something that looks similar to this. And again, just draw light. This isn't exact, just kind of us to base our shapes off of. And then you're going to get one more kind of like rectangle right about here like this so you should end up with a shape that looks something like that so like kind of like three boxes on top of one another so now that we got that down we could jump into his head <clears throat> so for his head we'll start off with his face um, we could draw his uh, the crosshairs for his face It'd be something like this but we're gonna start with his nose and his nose is just a big circle right in the middle of his face here and then we can go into his mustache which is this big curve line that goes off the circle here and another one that goes off the circle here like this and then you just get um, kind of like little curves so you get one here one here one in the middle here and then two going down this way like that and then we could get a uh, his mouth, which is this big U shape under the mustache there. And then we got a line going across for his teeth. And then for his tongue, we get like a little curve line like this. And then a little bump out like that. And then for like his bottom lip, it kind of goes past this little uh, line we have for this square here. Like that. And now um, what we're going to do is draw in his eyes, which are these big kind of egg-shaped oval ovals like this. So you get one, and then we're going to get a second one right here, like that. And now we're going to get a slightly smaller size oval in the middle. Same thing over here. And now we're going to get a little circle right in the corner here and here. 
and then just that last little oval and you can shade that in as well same thing over here like that so there's his face and then we can draw in his eyebrows which are these kind of like little crescent moons that go above his eyes like that so there's one here's the second one and that's pretty much it for his face and his face does take up most of the square here so now we could jump into uh, kind of refining his head shape a little bit so with his face here his head's gonna have to be a little bit bigger uh, which is fine because we can make it a little bit higher where the draw is and basically what we're gonna do is kind of follow this box shape that we have but make it a little bit more rounded so we'll start about here kind of follow the box shape we're gonna round it off a little bit over here and then go up like that and then same thing on this side we're gonna go across and we're just gonna round the corner up here like this go all the way up and we're gonna make it a little bit higher than what we have here just to include kind of like the hair detail later but here we're gonna curve it up make it a little bit higher and then here we're just gonna go across and then turn it into this line right here like that and then just we're just gonna simply uh, kinda draw in this top line here just curve it around and then over like that and then this line will pretty much stay the same so just be kinda like the straight line going down like that and now here we could draw in his hair um, so basically for his hair it's actually kinda simple very similar to this kind of shape that we have for the mustache we're just gonna get these curves so we're gonna get one here one in the middle and then one right there and then his hair will uh, kinda have another curve like this and then when you get to the uh, corner here it's just gonna go down and curve in like that and then same thing on this side so curve down I'll be over and then in like that and now here we're gonna follow the eye line so it hits here so it'll curve back like this and this is gonna tell us where the ear is gonna be it's gonna be about here and to draw this ear you just simply draw this kind of like elongated oval like this and on the edges here you're going to draw a line going out another line going out and then curve it up and that's it for the ear and the ear we can connect into the hair by drawing a curve line going down here and then just curving up to there like that and we'll just get another straight line going down here for the rest of the hair and that's pretty much it for his head so now we can jump into his hat and his hat's honestly not too bad. Uh, we could start with a big oval right here like this. And then a slightly smaller oval behind it. And then what we're going to do here is we're going to draw a little curve line kind of following the bottom of this oval here. And we're going to start about here and draw a curve line just following this oval, or circle right up here. And I'll curve in and down like that. And now we're going to get another curve line that follows this circle back here until it gets to the bottom and it's going to straighten out and now we're going to get the like um, front part of his hat, I forgot what it's called uh, this part where it's just going to go out kind of curve around, it's going to overlap the hair a lot so you can erase any overlap right here like this and I'm going to erase some of these guidelines just to make the hat clearer like that and now what you want to do is draw in a nice big I was going to say giant circle but a decent sized circle right here like that and then we're just going to put the M in there like that so that's how you draw Mario's hat and now we could go down and uh, draw the rest of his body and the rest of his body is a lot easier than his face so we're kind of on the easier part now. Um, we're going to draw in his um, overalls first. And basically what I like starting out with is this kind of like um, line that goes down here. And a line that goes down about here. And then you just connect them in like this. And then we're going to get a nice big oval right here. And an, or a circle. And another big circle. Like that. 
And then very similar to what we did right here, we're going to do the same thing on these ones, but not as extreme. It's going to be a lot closer to the circle than this one is. And then same thing on this side. And now what we could do is draw a line curving up, and then over, and then I'll go down about here, and pretty much the same shape here, just going this way. So curve over, and then up, and then in, like that. And actually, it'll wrap around and go in. Actually, this will just wrap around his back like this. And then this part, it'll just go up, over, and then this just kind of keeps his uh, its shape as it goes down and around. The only thing you're going to do is kind of round off the bottom corners here, like that. So you don't want a pointy, you want to kind of rounded. All right, now that we have that done, we could draw in a little bit more de detail here. So we got kind of like this line, and that line, there we go. And here what you want to do is kind of just redraw the lines that we had here, so just kind of sharpen them up a little bit. So you kind of want like a little square on top here, and it's just going to go straight down like that. And you get a little bit of it over here as well, so you get a nice little straight line right there. And then this uh, this back area is good. Um, and now that we did that, oh, we could draw another little curve line going in there, like that. And then darken in this line, and this line going across. So that's good, and you don't want it to have a curve like that. That's bad. Now that I'm looking at it. You want it. Try to make it as straight as possible. Help to use a ruler for this one too. Um, so that's good. So now we're going to go draw in his arm. Um, so his arm actually starts. We'll actually draw in his hand first. So it's going to be like this nice big circle. Like that. I'm going to erase any overlap that's inside the circle. Just so when we draw it it's clear. And basically what you're going to want to do. Is do it, draw like a C shape like this. Inside the circle. And then you're going to go down, and then curve it around, and then over like this, and then it's going to dip down and kind of go in like that, and this will just kind of curve down a little bit. And then you're going to get like a nice little uh, kind of line that hugs this line right there like that. And then you're just simply going to get a curve line that curves up like this, wraps around, and then curves down like that. And you can erase any overlap you have. So that's good. And now, basically, going to draw the same thing on this side. Uh, the hand's going to be up though, so it's going to be about here. Uh, but same concept. We're going to draw that C shape like that. Line going up here. Curve it down and around. Then it's going to go over. Then curve it back in like this. And you can extend this line out a little bit. And then you're going to draw a shape hugging the bottom here. And then draw a curve line going in. And then another curve line going in. Like that. And now just to finish them off, we'll draw on his feet, which aren't too bad. Um, so his feet are pretty much going to go off of uh, this shape here. And basically very similar to what we did up here. We're going to draw a line going up, across, and down. And then we're going to extend this line in like that. Just line going out and then up. And again, you're going to try to round them off on the corners here. You don't want it too sharp. You get another straight line about there. And then the feet pretty much just basically go down over, kind of round it around, and then in like that. So there's one foot, and then here's the uh, second foot, and it's just kind of like this line that hugs this bottom line like that. But um, anyway, guys, that's pretty much how you draw Lego Mario from um, the Lego collection, I guess. <laughs> so I will put the sketch that we just did right up here. 
And then I will put the inked version I did beforehand up there as well. And again, this one's a little tricky, uh, mainly just because of how like square he is and how like geometrical he is, like uh, very hard squares and boxes. So there's a lot of like foreshortening and perspective work going on. But uh, again, if you're looking at a reference and really like trying to draw him, and I think just following along with the video, you should be okay. He's not all too hard to draw. So, um, anyway, guys, thank you again, Edward, for the request. If you guys have requests, I do take them. All you need me to do is, uh, all you need to do is let me know what you want me to draw in the comment section below. I'll take your name, what you requested, put it on my how to draw list, and then on Sunday when I make a drawing video, I just randomly pick one off the list. There's no rhyme or reason. It's kind of what I feel like drawing that day. So, uh, anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys for the next one. Okay, thanks, bye. Later.